You're about to undergo a knee arthroscopy. Your consultant will have explained to you why you need to have the procedure. This short advice clip is to help you in your preparation for your operation. Most surgeons will want you to start moving your knee as soon as you wake up from surgery. It may be swollen, which can cause stiffness and weakness in the joint. Commencing some basic exercises to start bending, straightening and strengthening your knee will help you to overcome this. The exercises will likely be similar to the ones you're watching. The sooner you start these exercises, the better chance you'll have of a successful recovery. You may be advised to use ice on the knee to help with your swelling. You may find it helpful to ice the back of your knee too. Swelling tends to sit in this area and cause you pain and restricted movement. This is best performed around five times a day for approximately 10 minutes. Be careful to monitor your skin for ice burns. If you have had a straightforward knee arthroscopy, your medical team will want you to start walking on the first day. This is to reduce your risk of complications following surgery, such as a blood clot, chest infection or skin sores. You may need to use a walking aid when you start to walk. The following videos show you how to use a relator frame and elbow crutches. Both videos are based on the assumption you're able to put some of your weight through your leg following your surgery. Stand up straight with both hands on the frame. Push the frame away from you before taking a step forward with your weaker leg. Bring your weight onto this leg, ensuring that your knee stays strong and straight with your hips push forward. Step the other leg forward to join your weaker leg. Your feet should be level before you start again. Stand up straight with your elbow crutches by your side. Place your elbow crutches one at a time, approximately a foot in front of you. Step your affected leg forwards onto an imaginary line between the two crutches. Step your other leg to join it. Continue this sequence, keeping your gaze directly ahead. Going up and down stairs can seem daunting, but with some helpful tips and some practice, you should find the task achievable. You may require the help of an elbow crutch in order to do this if you're finding walking on your knee particularly painful. The following video again is based on the assumption you're able to put some of your weight through your leg. Place your good leg on the step first. Next, bring your other leg to the same step. Finally, bring your crutch up to join your feet on the step. Repeat this sequence for each step until you reach the top. Walking downstairs. Hold onto a rail and use elbow crutches as needed. When going down the stairs, follow this sequence. Place your crutches on the step you're going to move down to. Next, put your weakest leg down on the same step. Finally, bring your other leg to the same step. Repeat this sequence for each step until you reach the bottom. Finally, for you to get the best outcomes from your operation, it's advised to practice some basic strengthening and stretching exercises prior to your surgery. Try the following exercises at home. Note, if any of them cause you more pain or inflammation, stop the exercises. Aim to do each exercise 10 times up to 3 times a day and hold the stretches for 10 seconds. Lie on your back. Tighten your thigh muscle pressing the back of your knee into the bed. Keeping your knee locked straight, lift your leg off the bed. Hold this position before you return your leg to the bed. Make sure your hips remain in contact with the floor at all times and your knee remains straight. Sit in a chair and bend your affected knee back as far as you can. Place the ankle of your good leg over the front of your affected leg and use it to bend your knee back further. Hold this position. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. 
tighten your buttock muscles and lift your hips up into the bridge position. Make sure you keep your hips up and level throughout the movement. Balance on your symptomatic leg for as long as you can. You may want to be close to a solid object to hold on to if needed. Do not rest your bent leg on the stance leg. Mm -hmm.